On this episode of Low Country Cowboys, it's weaning time on the ranch and we've got about two dozen foals that we've got to get in, get weaned, and get safely in the barn. Then Abigail and I decided to use the golf cart to pin some geldings, but we're not so sure that was the right decision. And it's hay season here and that's always a huge chore. All that and more on this episode of Low Country Cowboys. So over the next week or so, we're going to be weaning our foals here on the ranch and we always look forward to this time of year because even though it's still hot, it's sort of a signal that summer is coming to an end. So we've got about 22 head of foals to wean. Uh, it's a big job and we need to get started early. All these mares don't run together. We've got four groups in four different pastures. And in order to get this process going, we need to throw two of these groups together into one pasture. That takes a little bit of thought and prep work so that we don't end up in a big wreck. Now I really like to use these young ranch horses every chance I get. You know, the experience that they get this time of year is worth a lot. These colts have pinned some cattle and we've done some work around the corrals, but running behind a big group of loose running horses is a completely different ballgame. Well, you know, when we took this group of mares through the gate, two of the foals got confused there and they missed the hole. And this could be a really bad situation if those mares run off and leave the babies. Really all we can do right here is just hold our ground and wait. Ranching is a labor of love for sure. Uh, there are plenty of long days and for a lot of guys that means spending time away from their family but I am real fortunate in that my kids love to come and work with their old man and most times we have a lot of fun.
I am not a fan of machines. I mean, it seems like every time I get around one, something tears up, you know? I'm the type, all I want's a good pony, and I'm pretty well satisfied. But we've got this golf cart around here, and, and Abigail and I decided, well, heck, we'll just get on the golf cart and see if we can't pin these geldings. Well, it looks like what happened was one of the kids was driving around in the golf cart and wrecked it and didn't bother to tell me. And Abigail and I didn't figure it out until we needed the darn thing. I really don't have the patience for this. Wow. All right. Well, we can only make right hand turns. Now this year on the ranch, we're going to calve about 1,500 head of mama cows. And grass doesn't grow here in the winter, so we have to store grass in the form of hay. It's a huge part of our job here and it has to be done right if we're going to give these cows everything that they need to get them through the winter. Ray Johnson is the man for the job. Well, Richard and company are out cowboy the rest of us are contending with hay season and it's kind of a long process the grass grows we cut it process all over again That's it. These foals really got confused at the gate there because there's a pretty good washout. And I guess as they were trying to figure out how to navigate that, the herd ran off and left them. Those babies really started getting worried there, but a good mare won't run off and leave her baby for very long. I always get nervous when we're gonna cross some livestock across the road because there's a ton of idiots out there and you just never know what could happen. I always try to call in reinforcements to help us get across the highway. Alright, so we finally got these two groups of mares thrown together into one pasture. Now what we're going to do is just let them settle overnight and go knock out some other chores. Come on, boy! Duck standing down there by itself. Come on, Doug! I swear I wish I would have just saddled my horse to pin these geldings. I guess we're going to be okay as long as we don't have to turn left.
music is the key to the soul. Are you sure? Yeah. Do you need a key to your soul? Yes. Because I don't need a key. I do. My soul's wide open. Yeah, well, I need a key. It all seems easy. No. No, I like my music better. I really love having Abigail help me out around here, but for the life of me, I can't figure out why she doesn't watch my singing. Well, we have a down fence and a busted golf cart, but we're not going to let that stand in the way of us getting our job done. We finally got the Gildens moved and we got everything set up to where we can stage our mares and our foals for in the morning and get this weaning project done and out of the way. Okay, day two of foal weaning is underway. The weather's really on our side, so what we're gonna do is try to get this group of mares and foals pinned, get them sorted and get them out of the way so we can move on to the bigger group. Wow, spider web in the mouth. Something on my head? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Dang, hey, look, if you're terrified of spiders and snakes, you got no business living down here where we live. That was a big spider, but it was totally harmless. <laughs> yeah. I got a lot of that lip in my mouth. Now I really can't emphasize how stressful this can be for a young horse. Sorting mares and foals is a tough job, but we breed and we train our horses to set them up for success. You just can't fake a good ranch horse. The experience that they get working day to day on the ranch cannot be replaced. Good old Fritz has done just about everything around here and he's only four years old. He's got more experience than most of the horses in the world. Today we're gonna sort mares from foals, which is something that he's never done before. But I'm confident that he can handle it because of all the experience that he's had leading up to this point. All right, once we sort all of the foals from the mares and we get the foals in one pen and we've got the mares in another, then basically all we do is kick the foals out into the alley and trail them down to their new pasture. Then we sit back and we hold our breath and hope that the mares don't tear the fences down to get to their babies.
It's kind of mashed down in there. Hit it like you got a pair, son. I ain't got a whole lot of swing here. You, you should, use the other end of your other side of your hammer. That's part, there you go. What? <laughs> <laughs> so evidently, what happened was my son Mac hit a tree with the golf cart and he jammed the gears that allow the wheels to turn. And basically what we've got now is a golf cart that only turns to the right, which isn't a whole heck of a lot of good to us. The only fix is to replace the entire gearbox. That boy's gonna have to work all summer to pay for this. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? Yeah. You get dirt in your eye? No, I got it in my mouth. Now we've learned over time that it's just about impossible to drive the mares away from the babies. But we can move the babies away from the mares okay, as long as the mares don't get so upset that they tear the pins down. Alright, so the next step in this process is to get some halters on these foals and get them on the trailer so we can take them back to the barn where they're nice and safe and we can start the whole domestication process. Now these little guys have never been this close to a human before, so right off the bat we're going to try to mitigate some of that fear. These poles may be small, but they can kick hard, believe me. Curiosity is one of the most effective tools that we can use to get these horses comfortable with us. They're really curious by nature, and so all we really have to do is to be gentle, be slow, be kind. And before we know it, they're comfortable with us, we can touch them all over, and they're halter broke. One of the most important things to know when you're handling young horses 
is to know when to quit. Give them some time off and come back tomorrow. Yeah. <sighs>